Good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading, the uh, 7th of November 2016. Be sure to visit tra Trade Signal, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the uh, app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so we are going into Monday with regards to uh, the reference of uh, Hillary. Okay, uh, we have just got uh, latest news from the FBI director. James Comey has said that the agency has not changed its opinion that Hillary Clinton should not face criminal charges after review, etc., etc. So the uh, the actual uh, Mexican peso is rallying. The US dollar is rallying to a large extent. The euro USD is starting to fall. You'll certainly see that the um, the uh, sterling dollar will certainly fall. And like I've been saying. Uh, all week, and I've explained in my videos that there's a, a, a inverse reaction now, or inverse um, inverse correlation with regards to the uh, sterling and euro versus the dollar. So uh, we should certainly see a rally in uh, equities, uh, and also the uh, short squeeze rally as well on the back of uh, Miss Trump. In terms of latest opinion polls, have Miss Trump uh, from uh, ABC uh, tracker Clinton 47, Trump 43. Support for Trump has slipped to lowest in 10 days. Enthusiasm for Hillary Clinton has recovered. So you certainly see Hillary is certainly winning, and that's uh, generally positive for the stock market, given the uh, the absolute uh, nutter uh, who is Mr. Trump. Really, he's a bigot, he's a racist, I mean, a xenophobic, etc. You can call it what you're misogynist. I mean, this, ind this individual, I mean, really is the epitome of, um, of all evil. I mean, to talk about axes of evil, he certainly is the epitome of it. Even though one can say that Miss uh, Clinton isn't exactly an angel either, but it's the lesser of two evils, and it certainly seems like uh, Mr. Trump is the greater evil uh, from the two okay so uh, again it certainly will crawl, cause um, a massive divide in society etc etc so it certainly isn't good news so my um, opinion really would be for hillary even though she's a crook and criminal but again america american politics unfortunately this is sad to say uh, given the fact that they are the leader of the western world really is crooked it's more corrupt than nigeria okay or any other corrupt country north korea or even china i don't know china Really, it's all about lesser of the two evils, and they're both evil. Uh, in a re in a realistic world, we wouldn't we would probably jail both of them, okay? Uh, but unfortunately, it's uh, it's a reality, and it's uh, the lesser of the two evils, okay? So uh, let's uh, <clears throat> let's let's uh, let's certainly go ahead now in terms of uh, discussing the uh, the actual uh, game plan going forward. So again, it's about oil as well, okay? So oil should certainly re receive a relief rally now. Oil certainly was. In a position to bounce anyway. If you look at the daily chart of oil, you can see a potential bottoming tail there and horizontal support. So oil prices are telling you that you want to wanting to bounce anyway. Now I've been discussing this with subscribers in the live analysis service, and I was explaining to them that the stock market certainly is set for a bounce. Okay, and this was uh, late Friday and uh, Saturday morning. I was discussing this, and and that's exactly what's occurred. Fundamentals certainly have confirmed that we had no fundamental catalyst. Now, if Miss um, if the uh, Hillary Clinton investigation had certainly found her guilty, then we would have seen a massive gap down. Okay. Okay, so again, it's certainly the market's vulnerable on either side. Okay, right. Let's look at the uh, the actual uh, technicals now, folks. Given the fact that fundamentals really is going to be one of a uh, potential relief rally, uh, short squeeze, or the shorts certainly closing their positions, especially with regards to FTSE 100. If you look at the FTSE 100 daily chart, we've fallen from a pivot high of 7130 all the way down to uh, 6700, 66. I mean, we were actually at lower 6650 uh, late Friday on the, um, the actual FTSE 100. So you are going to see one hell of a rally. From my understanding, you are going to see. I mean, I'm very surprised if you don't get back up to six eight hundred, six nine hundred, potentially even seven thousand. I mean, it really is that type of a rally. So the FTSE is uh, subject to Article Fifty concerns. So again, that certainly will be weighing. But if we can see a rally in oil, okay, and a relief rally in U.S. stocks, then you are going to uh, to see the markets rally. Okay. So looking at the FTSE one hundred on a daily chart here, you clearly see horizontal support around the six six seventy. Okay. So we're looking for a potential pop here. Now the question is, how much do we pop? That's the question. Now, from my understanding, realistically, we should get to six nine thirty ideally. Uh, if you look at it on a, from a um, from a technical perspective, really, there's nothing stopping the FTSE one from this uh, potential short squeeze. Uh, you do have some resistance here around the um, six eight seventy. Okay, uh, from what I understand, uh, the market certainly have gapped up almost uh, I think ninety to hundred points already. So you are looking at uh, six eight hundred. Okay, so um, six eight fifty, six eight seventy certainly isn't isn't too hard. Okay, if all starts to rally, then six nine thirty certainly will come into play. Okay, going into this week. 10 minute chart, the FTSE certainly again you were building a base here, so the FTSE from a technical perspective alone was confirming to you that it certainly wants to, um, it certainly is exhausted on the downside and it wants to pop. You are looking at gap fill up here first and foremost, so 6790, 6800, the next resistance is seen at 6820, 
then you have resistance up here previous support equals resistance in this region okay and you are looking at resistance at 6840 6840 really is a realistic target okay so you're looking for a pop here let's look at the german dax now german dax is a leader i did explain again in my charts over the weekend you are looking at gap fill above 10325 first of all to close and then don't be surprised if you've seen 10530 close as well okay so german dax certainly looking for a pop here 60 minute chart of the german dax again it will be the battle of the gaps or the battle of uh, the gaps closing for my understanding anyway okay so again looking for a gap fill uh, and if the market pops above the first gap uh, which is uh, 10325 then the next potential resistance is seen here and here okay and then obviously you have gap fill at 10520 so if the market keeps popping after that you have the 200 ma at 10600 then you have resistance at 10630 so i do think we will be a cap below 10630 it's very hard though, to envisage any rally above that but again it's a stock market folks it's our opinion our opinion is worthless stock market price action obviously is the uh, is the one to adhere to okay folks my understanding or my outlook here really is just an opinion that could change I mean, uh, I, be, I trade based on intermarket analysis. My opinion and my analysis is constantly changing. It's in a state of flux. It's, uh, it will react to the market. It's not superimposing its opinion on the market. It's reacting to the market. So you have to trade accordingly as well. I mean, I could have one opinion in my video today, and all of a sudden the next day we could have some major news. So, for example, this Hillary Clinton news is a game changer. So if I had a bearish opinion, and all of a sudden this news came out tomorrow during the day, obviously my opinion would change, okay? So if we had a, a dismal report on economic data, again, my opinion would change. So you can't be stubborn. You have to be flexible. OK, Fox. And again, it's all about uh, adjusting and again, putting your ego to a side as well. OK. And uh, again, it's that's part of uh, of being a day trader. You have to be very, very flexible or even a trader alone. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean a day trader. You just have to be uh, willing to adjust and change your position and realize you're wrong and close and then switch bias, etc., etc. OK. It's only those that are stubborn that generally um, get, tend to get hurt. Now, having said that, um, last week was certainly a negative week for me, especially given the fact that the market's traded vertical uh, I, I, in the, on the move lower. There was no literal no bounce, no short squeeze bounce, nothing. Okay, so I was constantly getting stopped out of my long position. So it was frustrating and annoying. But again, uh, I've been vindicated to a large extent with this cap higher. But it's not something that I've enjoyed. I've not got any positions at all. So again, it'll be more of a, um, a buying the dip mentality for me. Okay, so you are looking at resistance on the um, German DAX here at 10.320, which I've explained. Resistance here at 10.365 and your resistance at 10.410. So watch out for those levels. Okay, let's move on to the French CAC now. Okay, French CAC, again, this is another chart that I was indicating potential support, uh, looking for a short squeeze bounce, and that's exactly what we're going to get with this Hillary news. Uh, you have this uh, falling contracting type wedge, H&S formation had been completed, you had horizontal support down here in this region. You are looking at gap fill first of all at 4.410, then you have a gap fill above at 4.470, and then you will see turbulence, immense turbulence around this 4.500 to 4.590 level. Again, that will be a showing opportunity for me. 10 minute chart, you clearly see the inverted head and shoulders formation already brewing on a, on a Friday. And again, it was it's a shame that I didn't actually get into that position. But little did I know with regards to this Hillary news. It's always good after the event, folks. Everybody's a, an expert after the event. I could clearly say, tell you here. Oh, yes, I went long uh, the CAC. And then obviously, um, it's after the event. The, the, the French CAC is certainly short squeeze higher on this Hillary news. So it's not something that I do. I trade in real time. My stops uh, are certainly posted. And everything's transparent okay daily chart the french oh it's not the french cacks only euro stocks 50. okay uh, bottoming tail looking for a pop here again looking for a potential rally 60 minute chart at the moment certainly into that pivot s3 uh, again you have this potential uh, falling uh, type of uh, contracting wedge formation here folks okay let me just connect this across draw this uh, trend line for you okay here we go looking for a break here connect this to here connect it to there uh, just extend it okay so you clearly see falling contracting wedge pattern looking to rip higher okay so again looking for a rally again from my understanding my perspective i will be a dip buyer on the euro stocks 50 okay folks the first level of uh, turbulence or resistance you are going to see a gap fill at 92970 and then you are looking at a potential rally folks uh, in terms of resistance you have resistance at 2990, then you have resistance at 2995, and uh, then obviously 3005 as well, and the 200 MA. So clearly another inverted head and shoulders formation looking to uh, break higher. Okay, that certainly seems to be a summation there. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see how the markets react in terms of Monday's uh, trading session, the economic data that's due. 
and one that we look for look out for you got fdi foreign direct investment in china that'll be an important number your factory orders from germany so keep an eye on those in terms of any slowdown uh, you have ecb president victor constancio so again it'll be interesting to see what he has to say on inflation and again keep watching the euro if you start seeing a rip in the euro again you are going to see risk off uh, halifax house prices centix and retail sales from the uh, uh, European say Euro European uh, country. So again, EU data important. Centic investor confidence retail sales two important numbers, folks. Again, uh, will dictate the the movement in the euro. Uh, from the US uh, US perspective, nothing really. No, nothing market moving. Uh, you do have a UK data uh, like for like retail sales. So keep an eye on that late in the evening. But again, nothing really market moving for the for the FTSE 100 either. You do have house prices. Again, you could have impact inflation, and obviously there in turn sterling. But nothing major, okay? Um, it is interesting to see and keep a focus on Mr. Carney's comments. He did say he was neutral. And obviously the Article 50 talk as well. So the FTSE really is, um, is in a quagmire, really. Um, it's going to be interesting. If we really see a movement uh, uh, higher in uh, oil and a movement lower in sterling, then you can see a rally in the FTSE being sustained. If that fails, then watch out for the FTSE, okay? Uh, it'd be interesting, especially with regards to monetary policy going forward is, is neutral. That really is a conundrum, okay? Um, regardless, uh, it's um, again, like I've said, folks, market's constantly moving. The tectonic plates are shifting in terms of fundamentals, so you have to shift accordingly. And I've uh, certainly given you an insight into technicals, okay? So summation and conclusion really is a, a short squeeze rally, and let's see how long it lasts going into Tuesday's, obviously, election. My uh, perspective or my understanding is that Hillary will, will, will certainly win this, whether it's small majority or a large majority is irrelevant. She'll certainly win. And uh, Mr. Trump is going to go back to his little dark hole. And uh, really, he's going to sulk and cry. And he can do whatever he wants. He's an imbecile. Okay, so uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. And certainly take advantage of the uh, bonus. Goodbye now.